Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be making the traditional Arabian dish, shawarma. This dish is eaten in areas like Dubai, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Lebanon, Lebanon and um, they're eaten in different styles. But today, I'm making the traditional one. So keep on watching to know the recipe. This recipe, I'm gonna start by telling you guys the recipe for the shawarma chicken marination. We are going to be needing half kg of chicken boneless breast feet, and I have them in full slices because like further on we're going to be cutting them up. And for the spices and all, we're going to be needing one tablespoon of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of yogurt, one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of garlic, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and the spices we're going to be needing are one tablespoon of paprika and two tablespoons of the five spice five powder. Spice powder that I'm using is the Italiano bottle version. But if you do not have this and it's not available to you, because especially in quarantine, you can make it at home easily. For the home uh, thing, you uh, at home if you're making it, you are going to be needing a half teaspoon of fennel seeds, two cloves or long quarter teaspoon of cinnamon or dalcini, half teaspoon of black pepper or kalimirch, one lemon, and one star anise or badio khatai, and then you just grind it up and make the powder. Okay. For the sauce we're going to be needing, the sauce that I'm making is the white shawarma sauce, and it's actually really simple to make, so just follow through and you'll know how to make it. For this recipe of the white sauce, you're going to be needing Four tablespoons of yogurt, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of tahini, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of garlic salt. So this is what garlic salt is, and again, I'm using the Italiano version. So yeah, and there, as you can see. And this is what it looks like when it's out. So it's like green with yellow. But if you do not have it, you can make it at home Let's again. Let's get started. I'm going to start by marinating our shawarma chicken. I'm going to start by adding the yogurt. So there goes the yogurt. The mayonnaise. And that goes. olive oil, there it goes, garlic, and of course the lemon juice, along with the five spice powder that I just explained, and the paprika. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use my hands and mix it all up. gonna mix this as well. Why does my glove keep falling? Okay, now that this is well mixed, I'm going to be putting this in the freezer for 15 minutes, I'll also because I'm short time. So just to make things quick, it will go in the freezer. We're going to be mixing our white, char white shawarma sauce together. Okay, for this, I'm gonna be taking the tahini first. Okay, if you don't know what tahini is, it is this. And you can get it easily at any supermarket, so go buy it. Because this is the thing that gives the shawarma the real Arabian taste. So I'm gonna add the tahini into my bowl over here. Scrape it off. And it goes. The mayonnaise. Yogurt, black pepper, garlic salt, and lemon juice. And now I'm just going to give it a nice mix using my tiny whisk. And there you have it. Your white sauce is I'm really ready. Okay. Mix it well. 
to me. And there you have it. Your white shawarma sauce is officially ready. And now, let's wait for the chicken to come out of the freezer. You may not know, there is also fries that go inside the shawarma. So I'm gonna be frying these. I'm just gonna sprinkle a pinch of salt on top of these. There it goes. And I have some oil already preheating back here. I'm just gonna take these fries. chicken so I'm gonna take around one tablespoon of olive oil estimately and this is over here. I'm gonna take my chicken That the chicken is starting to change color, so I'm just gonna flip these so that both sides get cooked. Oh. All of these are flipped. I'm going to put the lid on it for around two to three minutes so that it's cooked through. And I'm going to put this on slow heat. the pizza cutter but if you do not have this you can use a knife Just cut this. Okay. so thanks to my mom she told me to use a fork and like you know, it'll help in keeping the chicken in place okay there okay the shawarma bread that i have it's a store bought and you can buy at your grocery store. And the cabbage is a finely chopped and shredded, as you can see. And I've taken the fries off the stove. I'm just going to finish the chicken. And you want the chicken to be in thin strips. See, our chicken is finely cut in strips. And I'm going to be warming our breads. This is store bought, like I told you. I have the towel already here on the stove. Pick one of these breads up. I'm just warming a bit. Now that these golden brown spots are coming, I'm going to take it off the stove. Turn the stove off. And I'm going to bring it here. Okay. Now, I'm just going to be filling this in. So, I got my chicken. Take some. Put it on one side. Our cabbage some more chicken oh, why not? this is the thing that will give the real taste the french fries and of course the sauce just going to drizzle some on top. And there. Now it's ready for all the Fold this on both sides. Put the foil. And there you have it. Your shawarma wrap is ready to serve. And it looks amazing, doesn't it? If you're following this recipe along with me, then you should get the same results. And there you have it. 
I hope you guys like this recipe because I loved it and it almost honestly reminds me of the times I used to have shawarma in UAE so you guys should try this recipe and if you do tell me in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up please like subscribe and share my videos and go follow me on Instagram Facebook and TikTok bye